guys, what's going on? It's Bikini Gamer here. Hope everybody's having an awesome day today. Well, on today's video, I kind of wanted to talk about some issues that I feel like they're ongoing issues with Pokemon Go. And they're kind of pushing me away from the game itself, in a way. So the first issue I want to talk about today is the paw problem or the location as far as the Pokemon, how far away they are from you. In the past, I've made a video about how, how easy it was for you to find a Pokemon that was nearby or how with the paws, like the more paws it has, the further away it was or the less paws it has, it would meant that basically it was next to you or in front of you or behind you. And it was a really easy way for you to find something that was nearby or maybe it's a Pokemon that you currently don't have and it would show you where it kind of was or it kind of guided you to where it would be. So there's been an ongoing issue that the paws are not working. They currently are always showing three paws, so meaning all the Pokemons are always far away. And you don't necessarily know how close they are to you. And I honestly think this is really annoying because sometimes you might have had or found a good Pokemon or a Growlithe or I don't know, something that you may not have and you can't necessarily find it because it's not working properly. It honestly gets very frustrating trying to find something that you really want, maybe like a Pikachu per se. I don't have a Pikachu and I found some near my neighborhood, but I don't necessarily know where they are. Like I want to get in my car and drive, but it's not really going to guide me anywhere. Like it's, it's, I mean, yes, it does show that it's further away because it gets, it, instead of being the first Pokemon on your list or the second one, it'll be all the way in the bottom, but you don't necessarily, it doesn't show you any paws. So back to square one, you don't really know where the Pokemon is. The second issue I do want to talk about in this video as well is, I guess, being able to find Pokemon nearby. I feel like some, like me and my friend are literally walking in the park where we've caught Pokemons before or we find Ponytas or stuff like that. And he's literally already caught two and I literally, it shows that I have nothing under my radar or there's no Pokemons nearby or anything like that. And I feel like it gets really frustrating because I see my friend literally leveling up or gaining more XP or catching all this Pokemons when it's, and I'm right next to him when it's telling me that I can't or that there's no Pokemon nearby. And I get it, you guys. It's an app. It may freeze. It may not work correctly. But, I mean, this is just an ongoing issue that keeps happening and happening. And I feel like I've been playing less and less because of this issue as well. And I actually, I mean, usually what I would do when this happens to me is that I would restart my phone. And if that didn't work, then I would close all the apps, then go to my app setting, and then go to the Pokemon and then for, uh, or the Pokemon app, and then foreclose that app. And then I would, um... Put that, you know, click on the app again and then it would, um, and then hopefully I would hope and pray to God that it would work. Sometimes it wouldn't work. So I actually came across this issue last week when this was happening. I was actually at the park with my friend, like I just said. And what happened was that instead of pressing for closed, I guess I was just like out of it and I pressed uninstalled. And I'm like, oh no, like what the heck, right? So what I did, I obviously installed the app again. And when I tried to log on, it wouldn't let me log on with my Google account, which is how I logged on or how I signed up for the app. Because in the beginning, it was um, the servers were over overloaded and you couldn't log on like with a, you know, with a regular email. You had to do it with your Google account because it was easier and it was the fastest way to do it at that moment. So what happened after I installed the app was that it wasn't letting me log on with my Google account. It was it basically said that I needed to put my um my email and my password and I did. I used the email for my Google account and it still wasn't letting me and I was just like so frustrated, so annoyed, so mad, so upset. Like I just didn't know what to do. So I installed the app and installed it again. I even tried to change my password because they said the password I put wasn't you know, matching the password that I currently had. And then I finally uninstalled it again and installed it again. And finally the Google um, icon uh, popped up on the app and I was finally able to log on. And all of that happened last week and made me really frustrated. But I'm gonna move on to my next issue and this is something that happened to me this weekend. So this weekend I went out to eat with a friend and I went to this place that's maybe about 30 minutes to 45 minutes away from my house. On the way there I realized that there was this park next to the place or about, I don't know, maybe half a mile away from the place or that restaurant that I was going to go out to eat at 
and the, there were so many leaves popping in that park. It was just a park, and it it just had an insane amount of leaves. Imagine a strip club, you know how they make it rain, but it was just like the park was making it rain with leaves. Like literally, that's like the best analogy I can come up with right now. So um, after, well, first I was really hungry, so I went out to eat, and then after I told my friend, I'm like, hey, do you want to go catch some Pokemon? Because it seems like it's completely lit in there. So he's like, yeah, let's go. So we ended up driving all around the park. We ended up walking in the trail. We stayed there for about an hour and a half. And do you want to know what I caught? A Pidgey. Like, a Pidgey. Really. Like, are you kidding me? This park had so many leaves. And I just thought, I mean, I even put an instance and thought that that might help maybe attract more Pokemon or something. But nothing. I really didn't catch anything. The best thing I caught in that park was a horsey. And I've already caught about over 50 of those. Which I feel like honestly the leaves isn't really working. I feel like it's false advertisement or I don't know why. It's just not really working properly. So the next issue I want to talk about is something that happened to me yesterday. Because this recording that you guys are watching right now is what I recorded yesterday while I was playing. So I went to this park that's really close to my house like I mentioned earlier. And this park actually has trails. And it's a trail, it's a paved trail that you can walk around the park. It goes all around the park, it's about three miles long or so. And I've already been to this trail about seven or eight times. And in the past, on Pokemon Go, while I've been playing, it shows up that I'm actually in a trail or walking in a paved road or something like that, like a small road, right? But what happened yesterday when I got to the trail is that I realized as I kept walking further and further from, I guess, the main road or where I parked my car, it was showing up as if I was just walking in a vast amount of land. Like there's no actual trail. Like I'm just walking in the middle of the woods or something like that. So I end up asking my friend, hey, like are you experiencing the same issue that I am? Because he actually has T-Mobile. So I just go ahead and ask him. And he's like, yeah, dude, I can't see the trail that we're walking in. It's as, it's as if we're just walking in the middle of nowhere. Just walking in the middle of the woods or something. So I have a theory on why Pokemon Go isn't working correctly and just hear me out here guys. So my theory is, well at the beginning, I'm gonna start at the beginning. When everybody first downloaded Pokemon Go, a lot of people were experiencing logging issues or they weren't able to access the app or even basically it would just kind of would stay in that screen that says beware of your surroundings, right? So obviously Niantic had to fix this. So slowly but surely, they started taking out good features of what makes Pokemon Go, like the pause, what I stated earlier. Before, it would decrease in pause when the Pokemon would get closer to you, but now basically every Pokemon that's nearby shows three pause. So first, this little feature that they have taken out. Now, since this app has also been released in other countries, it's also overloading the servers. Meaning that they have to maybe take out another feature, which this next feature would be the maps aren't as detailed and precise like per se what i talked about a second ago about the trails are in the park nearby are not showing up anymore or let's say i live next to this neighborhood that has a pool before that pool or that small establishment where the pool is located or the pool house was also located it's not showing up anymore i guess because it's not a main road or anything like that so slowly but surely they have been taking out small features that makes pokemon go to be able to support the vast amount of users that are currently using the app. And last but not least, this is the last thing I want to talk about. What is up with so many Pidgeys and Rattatas everywhere? I feel like they're just everywhere. I feel like I don't really see anything else but them. And I'm not exactly sure. Obviously, maybe this is not the same scenario for everybody. Depends on where you go, I guess. But I feel like everywhere, in every corner, there's a Pidgey. There's never really anything good. But that's not really what, what I want to go on about. My issue is this. I'm already a level 21. And apparently the higher level you are, the higher level Pokemon you will be able to catch. Right? But that really hasn't been the case for me. Honestly, everything I've had, I've had to evolve. Like, I've, had, I've caught high Pokemons, maybe like level 400, but nothing over that. Honestly, and it just makes me want to say like is the app really working? Is this just me experiencing this? I'm not really sure guys So that's all for now guys. Thank you so much for watching Be sure to like and subscribe and I would love to hear your opinion or your comments about this So please leave it in the section below also follow me on Twitter Twitch Instagram and Snapchat at bikinigamer99 and as always game on ciao